Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Rather, I believe that the holiness that we're called to strive to, without which no one will see the Lord, in reference in our text today, this holiness is a reference to not positional righteousness, but progressive righteousness, that being not justification, but rather sanctification, which comes about over time as the fruit of faith. Now let me break that down for just a moment. Positional righteousness, progressive righteousness. To put it another way, in theological terms, it's the distinction between justification and sanctification. The way that I would distinguish the two in as brief of words as possible for the sake of simplicity and clarity is as follows. Justification is being declared righteous. Sanctification is being made righteous. I'll say it again. Justification is being declared righteous righteous by God who is the judge. Sanctification is being made righteous by God, the Holy Spirit, working in conjunction with His Word in the heart and mind of the Christian over time. So, justification being declared righteous, sanctification made righteous. To distinguish it again in another light. Justification is a moment. Sanctification is a process. Justification happens in a moment. Sanctification happens as a process. In other words, there are degrees of sanctification, but no degrees of justification. Or to be more technical, there are only two degrees of justification. And that is, one, to be wholly justified. Two, to be wholly condemned. That's it. You're not partly justified, mostly justified, justified in this area, but not in that. Nope. That is a misnomer. Theologically, that is a category that does not exist. A man, woman, or child stands before God fully justified or not justified at all, therefore under his wrath and under condemnation. That's why we have such glorious texts in the Scriptures such as, for those who are in Christ, there is now, therefore, no, not less, but no condemnation. And this is not a promise for the mighty Christian like Mr. Greatheart, but it is a promise, an objective, present reality, even for the weak Christian. The weak knees, as we saw earlier in verses 12 and 13, or the drooping hands. This is not merely a promise for Mr. Greatheart. This is a promise for ready to halt, feeble-minded, and little faith. If you are in Christ, you are all the way in Christ. If you are justified, you are wholly justified. Fully justified. You have been clothed with the righteousness of Christ. It is not as though as we grow in obedience, Christ begins to further disrobe and give more portions of His wardrobe to us. It is not as though if I obey really well for a year, Christ will give me His shirt. And if I obey a little further, then Christ will give me His gloves. And then I'll get His pants and His shoes and His socks and His hat. That's not the way it works. The moment that someone trusts not by works, lest any man should boast, it is by grace, it is the gift of God, by grace alone and through faith alone, in Christ alone, the moment that you believe, you receive all the garments of Christ's righteousness. All His righteousness imputed, that is, accredited, transferred from His bank account to yours. Abraham believed. And it was accredited to him as righteousness. That's justification. Declared righteous in a moment. By grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Sanctification, however, is being made righteous further and further, progressively over time. Now, both are ultimately underneath the banner of the absolute meticulous sovereignty of God. The same God who is sovereign over justification 
is sovereign over each of our sanctification. The God who determines who will be saved and who will not is the same God who determines how, when, and to what degree each of those He saves will be sanctified. God is sovereign over all things. He has mercy on whom He will have mercy, and He hardens whom He will harden. God chooses who He justifies. But we often neglect to ponder what it looks like for God to also choose for each one that He justifies how far, how quickly, and in what ways that person will be sanctified in this life. There are no degrees of justification, wholly justified, or wholly condemned. There are, however, many degrees of sanctification. Not all believers are equally sanctified. Each of us are more or less sanctified depending upon where we're at on this journey to the celestial city, which is, again, determined under the sovereignty of God. God determines who He justifies, and God determines how, when, and to what degree He sanctifies. 